so good day guys so today i will tackle about the eukaryotes the prokaryotes and their difference so first i will tackle is about eukaryote so what is eukaryote eukaryote is an organism whose cells contain a nucleus within a membrane the genetic material and information of a eukaryote is contained with this nucleus eukaryotes vary from single-celled organisms that to complex multicellular animals and plants in fact, most living things are eukaryotes, made up of cells with distinct nuclei and chromosomes that contain their DNA. The word eukaryote came from the word um, eu, which means well, and karyon, which means nut or kernel, which is a common scientific word forming elements that is used to talk about the nuclei of the cells. Um, there are several organisms that made up of single eukaryote cell. For example, the protozoa, slime, uh, amoeba, and some form of algae. Eukaryotic unicellular cell consists of several organelles which carry out the functions such as respiration, locomotion, circulation, and all others. Um, the cytoskeleton consists of a network of fibers that help to retain a cell shape and allow the cell move to move. It also helps and guide the movement of organelles which structures within a cell to move or execute certain function. Um, cytoplasm is a jelly-like fluid that surrounds the organelles, and the cell nucleus is a structure that contains the oxyribonucleic acid or our DNA. Um, each organelle has a, a certain job to do, to perform within the cell. The type of organelles include endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi apparatus, mitochondrion, ribosome, lysosome and peroxisome so endoplasmic reticulum is it is assisting with sorting processing and transportation of protein and lipids molecule and it is the largest organelles in the in the cells the second is the golgi apparatus the golgi apparatus is a bundle of molecule such as protein and lipids processed by the endoplasmic reticulum and transport them out of the cell the third is mitochondrion, convert food into energy that the cell can use and synthesis ad adenosine triphosphate by a process called oxidative phosphorylation. Mitochondria are the powerhouse of the cell. The ribosome, it creates protein for use inside and outside of the cell. The last is the lysosome and peroxisome. It is digesting foreign bacterial in the cell. It also rid the cell of the toxic materials and recycle worn out cell components. These organelles act as recycling center of the cells. Um, the cells that contain these features are also are called eukaryotic cells. In the other hand, human cells are eukaryotic cells. So next is prokaryote or the prokaryotic cells. So what is prokaryotic cells? Prokaryotes are unicellular organisms that consist of single prokaryotic cell. Prokaryotic cells are simple cells that do not have a true nucleus or other cell organelles. The bacteria and the archaea are the two domains of life that are prokaryotes. However, organisms with prokaryote cells are abundant and make up much of Earth's biomass. Prokaryotic cells are usually between 0 0.1 to 5 micrometers in length. Unlike eukaryotic cells, prokaryotic cells have no distinct organelles bound by membranes. Instead, the many reaction the cell conducts happen within the cytoplasm of the cell. In fact, there are two main components that are present within all prokaryotic cells. The first is a cell membrane. This is a layer of phospholipid molecules which separate the inside of the cell from the outside. And the second is the the prokaryotic cells is the DNA. DNA is the basic blueprint of all life and is found within the all cells. In prokaryotes, the DNA often takes the form of a large circular genomes. Other prokaryotic cells can have a large number of different parts such as, such as cilia and flagella to help them move around. So in this table, we can see the difference between the prokaryote and the eukaryotic cells so most of the prokaryotes are unicellular while eukaryotes are most are multicellular 
The nucleus is poorly defined due to the absence of nuclear membrane in the prokaryotes, while in eukaryotes, the nucleus is well defined and it's surrounded by the nuclear membrane. In prokaryote, nucleus is absent, while in eukaryote, nucleus is present. Um, in prokaryote, cell organelles such as plastids, mitochondria, Golgi apparatus or Golgi bodies are absent. While in eukaryote, cell organelles such as plastids, mitochondria, Golgi apparatus or Golgi bodies are present. Um, prokaryotes are like bacteria and blue-green algae, while fungi, plants, and animals, all cells are eukaryotic cells.